is a film positive. The goal of this is you're trying to transfer this image direct to a screen. So when you have it burned onto a screen, it's going to be an exact replication of what you want to print. Black equals print. You see that's going to block out all that light. What's the yellow light for? That makes this room light safe. So all this stuff, like this is emulsion. This is what all these strings are coated with. Nice. This is like a light sensitive goo that will take this image everywhere that there is black, it's going to block out light, the rest of the emulsion hardens, everything else washes out, and then you get a stencil. Ink passes through there, and then you got a shirt. Let's see it. Let's see yeah, it. Nice let's see it. Yeah. Let's do a 180 mesh on this one. The first step, which our boy Jake has already completed for us, is the coat of screen. Nice, cleanly coated screen. So the next thing I got to point out here is those are center lines. Registration marks, that's center of the image. So what I do next, I grab my T-square, and we find two measurements. So this is a 20 by 24 screen. The middle of it is gonna be 10 inches. So I find 10 inches right there. So my first mark comes into play. Center. We burn our images three and three quarters from the outside. So now I'm putting the top reg at three and three quarter and then lining that up to the straight line that's 90 degrees from the outside of the frame there. So what that means is that this image is now square on that frame. Perfectly square. So when you get it to the press, It'll be square on your press. So with a lot of these little little lineup things that all kind of come together at the end. Okay, so I tape it in place, push it down. On these exposure units with the vacuum top, this is like an air release, so that the air can re uh, remove from this area. Okay, on this we have LED. Uh, we burn this to one coat for about 25 seconds. So the lid goes down. Now it's done to stink. So you notice there's yellow lights in here too. So everywhere from there back is light safe. Meaning I don't have to worry about, like if you, were, if you didn't have light safe conditions, this is still active right now. Okay. So if I were to go just out into the warehouse, it would still be exposed and then it would just get ruined. Okay, so still light safe. What we do from there is go straight into just a dip tank of just water. Regular water. Nothing special about this at all, just water. Okay, as you can see now, you can start seeing an image, right? Oh uh, yeah. That's that first little step. So the longer it sits there, the more you can see the image. So an easy way to tell if you're if you're underexposed on your image is to take your finger and do that on the part that is exposed. And if you get any coloration coming off, which we don't have any that would mean you're underexposed. So you want this to just be like this, feel nice and plastic. And then, you know that, if, you, if it felt like that, you'd underexpose and you need to increase your color. So that's about good. So go to the booth. Start these, I always like to blast from the outside. This is the strongest portion. We do two layers on this side and it's, it's directly exposed to the, to the strongest part of the UV. That's why you would check on the inside with your finger because this part generally is going to be the last part to get fully exposed. So if this is good, you're good. Uh, okay, and then just a little uh, electronic uh, pressure washer. I think we're at like 16 or 1700 PSI. Alright, so then what we do after that is just check your screen. Um, on complex stuff, you know, I've printed this a bunch, so I'm kind of like pretty sure about like what should or shouldn't be there. If it's something that you're just seeing the art for the first time, like you could go back and compare your film. Mm -hmm. uh, and you want to make sure that like you don't have any little like uh, boogers or like little, like, a kit, like something like that. Like that shouldn't be there. Right. So I just kind of finesse that a little bit. Give it 
another once over real quick. Yeah, that looks pretty solid, isn't it? Make sure all of our half tones come out. Make sure there's nothing missing. And then you set this aside, let it dry. And good to go. And a nice summer day like this, or a spring day, we just set it out here.